In this video, we're going to look at how we can convert from polar form to Cartesian form. Now, really this is uh, so that you can see that it can be done. Um, there are a few issues that can arise from converting from polar form to Cartesian form, uh, especially if you're expecting... Uh, the negative part of where, if, if R takes on negative values, if you're expecting that to be included. Um, so I would strongly recommend that when you try this out for yourself, and you try it on maybe a few other curves than this, that you explore it on Desmos as well to see if the Cartesian form accurately represents everything that you expect to be there. OK, so just to be clear on that. So how do we do it? Well, it's all going to come down to the fact that we should recognise that R is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. And we can say that x is equal to R cosine theta and y is equal to R sine theta. And we were seeing this when we were converting polar coordinates into Cartesian coordinates and vice versa. So if we look at R is equal to 3, for example, then we do a direct substitution with this one. And we can say that the square root of x squared plus y squared is equal to 3. You can square both sides, and you can see what you've got is a circle centred at the origin with radius 3. And we'll look at this and uh, generalise that in more detail in the next video. Now, for the next one, r is equal to 3 plus 2 cosine theta. This is one of the curves that we're going to be exploring in a few videos' time. Now, how do we convert that one? Because we can clearly see that the r can be swapped with that, just as we did in the previous example. Um, but how are we going to deal with the rest of it? Well, the way to get around that is if we multiply through by r, we get r squared is equal to 3r plus 2r cosine theta. Now, why would we do that? Well, now I can replace the r squared with x squared plus y squared. I could replace the r with the square root of x squared plus y squared. And the r cosine theta I can replace with x. OK. So I would suggest looking on Desmos or GeoGebra, trying this out, r equals 3 plus 2 cosine theta, and see if that matches what we have here. Now, you might also want to explore on there, if you change that 3 to a 1, okay, um, what you're going to find is that there is a portion of the graph where r is negative. And if you change this to 1 and see if it matches that, Desmos draws the part where r is negative. Um, but this does not, if that's 1, give you where r is negative. Okay, um, That's because it's deciding... Right, where, what value shall I take on the square root of x squared plus y squared? And it will naturally take the positive value. If you change this to minus 1 in here, then you should actually find, and that takes the negative square root, you should find that it gets you the negative part of r. OK, so it's, it takes a little bit of like playing around just to go see how these uh, equations match up. And let's finally take a look at this one, r equals 2 sine theta. Well, if we use the same trick as number 2, we can multiply through by r first. So r squared is equal to 2r sine theta. The r squared is x squared plus y squared. And the r sine theta is y. So we get 2y. Now, if we subtract the 2y from both sides, so let's uh, give myself a little bit more space. Let's go up here. So x squared plus y squared minus 2y equals 0. Let's complete the square on this part. x squared plus y minus 1 squared take away 1 equals 0. x squared plus y minus 1 squared equals 1. And so we have a circle centered at 0, 1 with radius 1. OK, so that's what that defines. 
So you can see this is how we can convert from polar form into Cartesian form. Uh, and we're going to be utilising that to help us out with some of the sketching in momentarily.